Hi, in this video we are going to learn some important spelling rules. We will cover six spelling rules and learn how to use the correct spelling of frequently used words including some common homophones. One important point to remember is that every word has at least one vowel. Sometimes the letter Y acts as a vowel such as in dry or by. All right, let's get started with our spelling rules. Rule number one. This rule tells us when the letter C makes a S or a K sound and when the letter G makes a J or a G sound. So let's start with the letter C. C makes a S sound before E, I or Y such as center, city and cycle. It makes a K sound before everything else. Next, the letter G. It makes a soft J sound before E, I or Y, such as change, giant and energy. And it makes a hard G sound before everything else. Rule number two, double consonants. We often double the letters F, L and S when they come at the end of one syllable words with only one vowel. All these words are one syllable and they all have just one vowel. So we double the final S or F or L in these words. Now look at these words. The word leaf ends with an F, school ends with an L and cactus ends with an S. But we don't double the F, L or S here. Why? Because each one of these have more than one vowel and cactus has two syllables. So we do not double the consonants in these words. Rule number three. This rule says that the letter Q is always followed by a U, such as in these words. Okay, moving on to rule number four. To make a singular noun plural, we add an S or ES at the end. But when do you add S and when do you add ES to make a plural? Well, for most nouns, just add an S at the end to make a plural, such as these words, years, tables and walls. Now, the rule says that if a word ends in S, SH, CH, X or Z, we add ES at the end. For example, bus to buses. We add ES at the end to make the plural. Watch ends in CH. We add an ES here to make the plural. Similarly, fox to foxes. Rule number five. Adding suffixes ABLE and IBLE. Remember, a root word is a basic word without a prefix or suffix. For example, the word eat. That's a basic root word and you can add the suffix ing at the end to make a new word. All right, so we are going to learn when to add able or ible at the end of a word to make a new word. We add the suffix able to a root word when it is a full word, such as comfort. You add able at the end to make comfortable. From notice to noticeable, agree to agreeable. Adding the suffix ible. Ible is usually used when the root word is not a word, such as viz, incred, and ed. We add the suffix ible to make a new word. Visible, incredible, edible. Okay, now we come to the last rule. Homophones. A homophone is a word that sounds the same as another word but is spelled differently and has a different meaning. Here are some examples of homophones. The first word here, our, and this is also pronounced as our. O-U-R, our means belonging to us, whereas H-O-U-R is a measure of time. Okay, let's practice the rules that we just learned. Here comes the passage. I'm going to give you a moment to read this passage and then we are going to figure out the correct spellings of the underlined words. You can stop the video to read the passage. Okay, the first word up here is years. To correct the spelling, we are going to simply drop the E here and spell it with just an S at the end. Our second word in this passage is weather, which is actually the wrong word here. 
we want to use the word weather which means climate and not this weather. In our third word here we have added the wrong suffix. We will drop the A and add an I in its place to correct the spelling. Alright, you have done an excellent job.